And the fly-off event today, unfortunately, not all the teams could make it, but all those that did, did really well to get here today, despite every restriction put in front of them. They, they got there in the end and we actually did have some of the aircraft fly today which I think we'll all agree with, fantastic. I'm absolutely elated to have won, I say it, it feels fantastic. Uh, after all the hard work that the team have put in over the last nine months, uh, it feels brilliant to finally be here and it feels like it's all paid off at last. I think the most important piece of advice I'd give to any team that's thinking to enter is test early. Uh, things will go wrong and if you don't test beforehand they'll go wrong on the day. From the virtual and the real live competition I think we can all agree that the students have managed to have a little bit of an insight into what it's like within the aviation industry and understand that engineering process that on the day your aircraft may not work but that is what happens in real life. Don't get disheartened, try again. There's never a failure in the engineering world. It's always a continuous improvement and a learning opportunity. We're starting to see students who are getting more experience in whole aircraft design, whole systems design, autonomy, machine vision, and these emerging technologies are really important to the future of aerospace.